Hi, my friends. Today I propose you a school lesson with homework. I bring to your attention an assembly with many components. It is the injector in these drawings where you find all the details and dimensions. I choose to model a simpler piece and I invite you to model all the others. This is the homework and then create the complete assembly. If you have trouble modeling the more complicated components, please let me know so I can help. Pay attention that you need to present also the technical drawings just like mine. I create drawings to every part I model for you to understand everything. The drawing comes from our friend Timoteo Carrera Soto and uh, you will uh, find here three pages. This is the first with the assembly in uh, uh, this uh, rectangle, then parts that ones next page and the last one i model this part for you and you have to model all the others and to create the the assembly you may find also errors nobody is perfect you see this drawing has uh, dimensions 10 and 13 but when we'll work to it we'll see that this must be 7 and this must be 16 good let's go to the lesson and then it's your turn to work at the homework this is the part you see how it looks and the drawing with its dimensions as I said it is not complicated so let's start standard millimeters IPT sketch plane X to be to the right X to the right then we draw a rectangle two point center six tab four then finish sketch what is this this is this section six on four millimeters starting place in this plane then we draw a line and an arc from here this is the center point a line of 16 an arc at 90 degrees radius 6 plane X, Y, no X, Y, Y, Z, line from this point down 16, then we continue with an arc. This is the arc radius 6 and this uh, point to be on the same vertical horizontal <laughs> this point with this point 
on the same vertical and uh, I'll share this to the left finish sketch sweep this is the path okay very nice first volume is ready I'll see this point is the center now I create this cylinder double cylinder 28 10 8 8 plane XY F7 I draw an center line a center line of 28 28 then the two oh 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 not uh, center lines we go down and close these two are normal lines, not center line. Dimensions 10, 8, and again 8 here. Finish sketch. Revolve. Okay. Once again, X Y plane. F seven. Circle. With a diameter of uh, fifteen. Finish sketch. This is this uh, central body with a distance of ten left and right. Extrude ten is uh, by default at the beginning. Okay, now holes. You see, there is a double hole here with the dimensions of 7 diameter, 4 depth, then metric for 8 depth. hole, this face, this center, finish as you can see here, 4 and diameter of 7, yes, ok, then another hole, which is threaded ISO 4 millimeters this is the end full depth of the thread and uh, let me select the face and the center to see where is 8 this is 8 good now let me create this 
uh, volume or feature radius 18 distance of 7 distance of 40 and thickness of 3 now I see that this arc is too large let's see what is the problem radius 6 is here and not here yes the, this radius is uh, 6 minus 4 divided by 2 if we respect our style with expressions we have a parametric software inventor not uh, like AutoCAD where we have to remake the first sketch and so on I go to the problem this is the problem instead of six double click I place six minus four divided by two Yes, it is smaller. Okay. We go on. This is the face where we create that new feature. F7, circle, center, radius. Yes, this is radius of 18. Then a uh, larger circle with a distance of 7 7 two lines from this circle to the center and back to the circle the distance of 40 between these two points 40 trim be careful I click and I keep the left button pressed and I cut yes very interesting this midpoint must be on the same vertical with the center point now we have a fully constrained sketch. I make not cons not uh, normal but construction this and we have two closed contours. Three if you consider also outside. And I select for the extrusion this, not this, not both. I don't know look you can select this three millimeters okay the last is uh, this conical hole 10 7 okay what is the plane this is the plane f7 We draw a center line between midpoint to midpoint. Then normal line from this midpoint up from this point up and back dimension this point is at 10 diameter and this is at 7 7 finish sketch revolve this is the the axis and we use Okay. 
that's all my friends we apply material which is uh, still cast but uh, we also have some fillets a radius one a radius one a radius one let's apply that uh, fillets uh, this is the first the value is one this is the second all over and this is the third okay I apply orange as a general color orange then I select some faces to be machined one two I keep press the shift button when I click on them shift also shift what aspect aspect is still polished now we have the part let's go to the eye properties physical update select copy close drawing double click enter paste there is only <laughs> small difference but this is not because of any mistake it is the uh, approximately uh, value okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye